Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. Dude, I literally, we were talking about this beforehand. I was so excited to circle back and hit this and he was like, well, maybe we should, you know, do some other bands in there. And I was like, dude, I want it. He made it very clear. He wanted to come back and check out it. his live performance. Listen, hey, sorry, I want it. <laughs> no, and there was so much demand for us yeah. to check out because they said, like, because we, we made a huge point in the video, can they do it live? And they're like, yes, 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 they can. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's like, dude, apparently I mean, Edgar Winter is playing half the instruments, like running around, even really? hitting the cymbals is what they're saying. Like, this dude's everywhere playing all these different things. Dude, I've got, like, pre-goosebumps. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, good. already excited. Yeah. Dude, we got the bobbleheads here. We got the whiskey. Shout out again to Lucy for making those for us. Absolutely. Uh, dang, dude, I'm just, I'm hype. Yep. Listen, give this a good ass subscribe if you like the content. Uh, with that being said, let's get into it. Bro. That ride? Yeah, 100%. Isn't that ride right what you got? Already feeling.
hi hat. Mr. Mr. Winner, if you don't mind me calling you that, what the, what did you just do? What, what, was I watching Lord of the Rings, but the musical? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Dude, straight looked like an elf oh, using see, magic. He oh, just okay. was using magic on everything. He yeah. was like, oh no, turns out I play saxophone. This is like Gandalf in a different dimension, Gandalf the White. This across, is, yeah. Across this is, the, the void. Yeah. You know? <laughs> this is Gandalf the Coke. Ugh. <laughs> Wow, that was dude. There's sauce on the floor. It's just like yeah. What else is there? Everybody in the audience had to get their clothes dry cleaned. Where where I lost my mind was several points, but the main one when I saw him on his drummer's hi hat, and the drummer's like you know on on the eighth notes like hit you know stepping on. The you pedal. sure he was on the hi hat or was he on the crash? It looked to me like he was on the separate crash. It looked like he was on the drummer. The drummer's left on his hi hat, and he was hit, hitting it every eighth, and yeah. then he was like tapping it like while it was down or something. Either way. He's he's nuts. he's on his drum kit. He's nuts. on his drummer's There's drum nuts. kit, There's and they're coor- it was pre-coordinated how he was going to integrate himself onto his kit in the middle of it all. Like this having is that all little so side, calculated. like that side, like percussion station. The the fact that he was just like, listen, I do all of the things. Instrument wise, I do all of Pulls them. Pulls out the saxophone, and at first when he started, I was, I was like, okay, he's on a saxophone. This is crazy, but it's okay. But then he develops how he's doing it, and then kind of just gets into these climaxing lines, and you're just like, what? He's just a virtuoso. That's so. Yeah. I mean, it. What's crazy to me? So for one, for one, let me say for one. Uh, if Orange Slice had been a thing when we watched Frankenstein, yeah, for sure, Orange Slice would have been used. Yeah, because dude, we're gonna need to start getting like Orange Slice hats because I need to wear that every time this happens. You, you, you just have it behind the chair. Behind the chair, and I pop that bitch on because you don't you know, say anything. It's just like. Yep. Or it's kind of like, like buzzer, orange slice. Or orange something. slice. Oh, my goodness way. gracious. And then I didn't even know you can make, like, I knew, like, keyboards had effects and stuff. Yeah. I didn't know you can make it do that. Is there, like, some kind of, like, slide knob on yeah, the so side? Yeah, so he's got a pitch knob, a pitch okay. wheel on one side, and he's definitely got some sort of arpeggiator, uh, which is oh where you hit, like, goodness. you can hit a chord, and it'll, like, hit the three notes, like, instead of going, like, yeah. all three at the same time, it'll go, like, da 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 and it'll sort of do, like, Imagine knowing and understanding theory that much, so you're literally able to just, like, Bring Just the most nuts. out of that. Dude, here's what I think. I think it's a lot of theory, for sure. I think it's more than that. He's just so in tune with he's his comfortable. instrument. He's comfortable. He's so comfortable. He's just like, I can do whatever. And then, like, the fact that he gets on that, like, the the whole, like, electronic station, he's like, let me just make space noises for a good 45 seconds. And you're I, like, I don't even know I'm how down to do that it. either. I, I, like, I don't know what was going I'm on. I'm down for it. I'm down for space noises. I'm down for the destruction of the Death Star. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, holy cow! I, I just can't imagine being in an audience with something like that because you have all these rock yeah. bands, these blues rock bands, all this stuff coming up that's very popular at the time, mm-hmm. and it's like you come out here with that. Yeah, like it's just so different. I there, I could not imagine a band following them live. If they end the set with that, you're like, and I'll just do comedy. I'll do I'll do skits. There's just what nothing, are you gonna do? Nothing you can do. It's like good night, folks. Yeah, you know, it's just like that. And that's it. <sighs> Okay, here's something I noticed. I thought it was phenomenal. Um, I loved that he was doing the percussion parts. I thought that was phenomenal. Yep. He says way too many times, you know, like the same word phenomenal again. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of speechless. It fits here. It fits here. Yeah. But, but something that I noticed was, although he was, he was doing really well on the percussion side of things, yeah. his drummer, like the difference between like somebody who can play drums all right and like a really good drummer, I think this is a good highlight of that. So he's definitely really good at piano, uh, yep. Edgar Winner, uh, Mr. Winner, uh, really good at the sax, <clears throat> really good at the whole theory of all that sort of stuff, and great rhythm, right? But when he was playing back and forth with the drummer, it's like, okay, Edgar's doing like pretty great. And then the drummer is just like that level more articulate and tight and this, and you're like, holy cow, so that he, drummer he, is he phenomenal. He can like enable a foundation and sustain yeah. like just – Something where he can come into that. Well, it just shows it you like there, it made me appreciate the drummer way more because there's nothing wrong with what he did percussion wise on that like side percussion kit. He mm. was doing it all great. Yep. But then the drummer got on. And he was like, let me throw in just like a little extra sauce. 
And so you're like, damn, that's the reason why but you're the drummer. it also doesn't feel like it's overstepping either. No, no, it's just not like, at all. He's like, I'm just going to fill in this this pocket over here. Yeah. It feels like hand. Yeah. And it won't mess <sighs> anything up. It'll, it'll just add to it. Well, like when they're going back and forth, it's like, bum, bum, bum. And he goes, bum, bum, bum. It's like just a little more articulate. I'm like, oh, you're so good. And was there a cowbell for a second there? I heard that. Uh, maybe. There it was came, a horn. There was a, like a clown was, horn. There was a lot going on. There's the bassist was great. Uh, I don't want to overshadow them because they were there was so much energy on stage. The the guitarist had a great tone. He was really in command of his instrument too. It was really really watching this was everybody was in command of what they were playing. I think the guitarist is Johnny Winter, his brother. Really? I think. Don't butcher me if I'm wrong. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's Johnny Winter. And they did a song together where it's like, so Frankenstein is Edgar Winter's song, and yeah. his brother I guess like stepped in on it. But I think his brother Johnny Winter has a song called Tobacco Road or something like that, okay. where he helped him, I think. Where people said that's pretty big. I Either love way, this, man. I love this. It's crazy. So we, we gave we gave the studio um, rendition an S. Yeah. And so what is this? I, I feel like this is an S rendition uh, yeah. of the song. Like I don't see how they could like, they have done it any better. It's like, like okay, he, he yeah. could have had like an individual saxophonist. He could have had himself on keyboard and somebody else doing those drum parts. He could have had somebody else on that electric thing. Well, he just focused on keyboard. Yeah. He could have had the keyboard on a stand. Yeah. No, dude has it hanging down, and people yeah. mentioned in the comments that he kind of like, you know, popularized the idea of that, and you you know what later became like the guitar. The, yeah, and it's just like all these different just the, the fact that all that happened. He's a the showman, way it man. He's a showman. He was like, I'm gonna make this difficult on myself, and he was yep. he was a great just articulate of the whole yep. the whole situation, <clears throat> like the fact that he gets on the ground like banging the instrument like over and yep. over. Again. I'm like, that's so. Cool. And the showmanship isn't just like charisma or swagger. No. It's also just like the fact that I'm doing all this in front of you and I'm running around and making yeah. this happen. That is like his abilities is the sh showmanship, which is a really cool thing to have. Because it's easy to have, not easy. It, it, most people who have either one or the other have either one or the other. Like you're either yeah. a virtuoso and you stand still and are just phenomenal, or you have crazy showmanship, but you don't have necessarily the skill to back you're, it up. You're like a seven or eight out of 10 yeah. in terms of that. Yeah. He was both. That's like, Dude, if this if this is a chick, this is a perfect ten. This yeah. is like you're like and marriage, right? Right. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Goodness so, gracious. So S S on this S. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Winner. You did yep. phenomenal. So let us know any of the songs we had to check out by him or his brother, J yeah. uh, Johnny Winter, something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <sighs> Craziness. Okay. Deep, Craziness. Deep There's breath. heat. Deep breath. Heat in the studio. I know. Right now. We've got the we've got it pumping at 65 degrees in here, and now all of a sudden it feels like 85. Um. With that being said, dude, we will catch you on the next video. Yeah.